chief of staff, Wolf Team. Welcome to another Down the Rabbit Hole video. I'm talking about a game on the Sega CD here, which is um, kind of related to what I've been talking about recently. I've been doing a lot of discussion about Dragon's Lair, and this is Time Gal, which is kind of another Dragon's Lair full motion video type game out of Japan. Uh, actually came out in arcades in 1985, and then finally came out to the Sega CD in the early 90s, I think 92. Um, and I first found out about it when I was researching what are some titles for the Sega CD. And of course there is Dragon's Lair on the Sega CD. And I would look through various others and I saw this one. I'm like, oh, this looks kind of cool. It's a little sort of imagine uh, Dragon's Lair, but now it's a Barbarella space vixen lady who a little bit like Spacey, she turns into a young child when she is suffering. You'll notice there's a couple of clips there where anytime she gets hit or uh, wounded or anything like that, she instantly sort of morphs into this little infant version of herself. So I don't know if that's uh, to do with the anime this is based on or if it's just their way of communicating to the player, you failed, but it happens quite often. Um, our heroine's name is Reika, and uh, she's actually credited as being one of the first female video game uh, heroines. So, because this was an arcade game in the 80s in Japan. But I only know it as a 90s Sega CD game, and unfortunately, it is ridiculously hard. I can barely get through this thing. So, let's fire it up and I'll show you exactly what I mean. So if we uh, get to the main menu here, the first thing I'm going to do, there's only a few options. Um, before I start, I'm definitely going to want to go to options and I want to change it to the easy level. Normal and hard, ridiculous. You're never going to get through them. So easy for me. I'm going to bump myself up to the full lives. Okay, it's number four lives. There are some effects. Now I was playing around with these earlier and they basically do things like you can either play the mirror image, I guess to give yourself a little challenge if you've play the heck out of this title, or you can reduce the full motion video, uh, the animation to being a little more kind of cell shaded. But I'm gonna just stick with effect number one. That's the base game, base animation, and the way that we wanna play it. And I don't know if it's lag or something on my controller, but uh, the prompts, like when you play Dragon's Lair and you've got the, uh, you wanna go to the left or you wanna use your sword, you get that very brief little flash of which way to go in the game. This one is way shorter, and again, I think my controller is just not getting registered well enough because it seems like I just keep dying. So I'll, I'll try a couple here, but you're going to find it's just not uh, very playable. All right, here we go. So we basically got the four cardinal directions and sometimes a button press, I think. Yeah, see? I was supposed to go to the right, and I did push to the right, but I guess I didn't do it in the nanosecond that I had there. Here we go again. I made it. Uh, okay. And you see what I mean? She turns into this little child sort of character whenever she gets uh, defeated. So there we go, I got two to the right and one to the left. Let's see. Okay, we got one more try here because of our four lives. Right. Right. Left. Now what? Oh, I got it. Oh, <laughs> and I died. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm more panicking about which direction do I have to press next. All right, let's uh, try again. Continue on. Now, it does randomize. I don't always start in 770 million BC. Ooh, this time I need to... Oh, you know what? I take it back. I'm actually the mirror image this time around. So that visual effect doesn't make any difference there. Left. Left. Dang. And here we go. Pfft. 
And we're dead. Nope, we got one more. Okay, here we go. Oh, at least I made it a little further. Uh, wrong direction. Jeez. <laughs> oh, well, at least there's a little bit of progress. I mean, I got to a certain step there. Eh, I think we'll let that run out. Uh, basically, in the story, you're a time traveler, so you go back to the time of the dinosaurs, or you saw her on a little spaceship thing. We're taking on this uh, blonde guy villain here, but at this rate, I'm never going to get to him. Um, and I'm not going to get in the high score either. All right, let's try a new game and just give it another whirl here. But yeah, you can see it looks like there's all kinds of exciting adventure shit that Reika goes on, but I'm not going to get to any of them at this rate. All right, let's uh, try one more time here. But even if it is lag, I think, I mean, those prompts are just way too short. And unlike in uh, Dragon's Lair and even Space Ace to a lesser degree, you can kind of tell where you're supposed to go from what's happening in the animation. In this thing, she's jumping all over the place so much that it could be any of the four directions. I mean, it's a complete roll of the dice. So it's not very fun, but... Oh, now we're in the Roman period. Okay. And... I don't know what that meant. Oh, maybe that was supposed to be a sword press. Okay, let's try this. Because they all flash there. Okay. Aha! It is a sword press. And sword. I hit that! <sighs> It's too bad. I like the look of this, but not very, certainly not very easy. And what is she babbling on about, hey, good looking, and how old are you? That doesn't translate well. And I think I'm dead. Yeah. Well, okay, you get a general idea of Time Gal there. I mean, it's it's just really, really hard. And I'm sad about that because I... Oh, be quiet, you. Um, I'm sad about that because it, it looks like the kind of game I would like. I mean, I like Space Ace. I like uh, Dragon's Lair. Wasn't too fond of Dragon's Lair 2, which I mentioned in my Friday Foursome. And that was because it was just really, really challenging. This blows all that out of the water. This is almost impossible to play. Again, could be my controller, but I mean, the the fraction of a second between the prompt and you have to hit the button or move the, the controller, it's just not fair. Like, it's it's not, not that much fun, unfortunately. So I'm going to call it there. That is, or that was an attempt at Time Gal. A very interesting Sega CD game, a neat full motion video game, kind of like Dragon's Lair, but it's just not for me. Until next time, we'll see you down the rabbit hole.